in this drawing, I'm going to try and make a sketch, reproduce a sketch of the, the drawing you can see on the screen. Um, I'm going to take care and explain all the steps that you need to produce this drawing. Okay, so as is the case with tangency problems, you start with points, you can, um, points and lines and all other objects that you can draw easily first. Okay, then. Draw lines. Points. Um, and objects you can locate first. You, you can locate first, okay? Then you construct tendencies. Okay, so first of all, I can I can choose anywhere okay on my drawing sheet to draw my circle these circles. So I'm gonna have, oops, that is wrong. Let me complete drawing my center line properly. As I mentioned, it's a sketch to make it Okay, so I'm doing my center lines. Then my circle, first one has a, um, first circle has a diameter of 40. Okay, in other words, a radius of 20. Okay, so this is R20. Then I'll draw my other circle with radius 35. Okay, so this is my oops, small radius 35. Circle of radius 35. Okay. Then from this center, I measure 97 millimeters down. That is where my next outline will be. So I measure 97 millimeters down. Okay. I draw my construction line. Okay. I can also locate this center easily and draw um, these arcs. So from the center, let me just, I can extend this center line. Okay, so from where this center line cuts this line, I measure 45 from there to 45 from here. Okay, and then draw five from there uh, 
I draw a center line. Okay. I don't know yet where, how far it should go, but you also see that from the line that is 97 millimeters from the center, there, it's, there is another offset line. Okay, that way. It is offset 10 millimeters away from the first, from the first line. Okay, but we can see that there is also a small set for touching that same line with a radius of 20. So I'm going to measure 20 from the offset line. Okay, where that 20 line cuts, cuts this line is my center. Okay, is my center for radius 20. Um, let me clear it. Now that I know where that radius will touch this one, let me clean it and make it a bit neat. Okay, so I'm going to stand here with my compass point, open to a radius of 20, then then I'll draw, um, that is not accurate. Uh, I'm sketching, but it's too far from what it should be. Um, I have to back trace a bit. Now from the offset line to the center, um, that radius is a continuation of the offset, okay? So from this line to the center is actually supposed to be, to be, um, I just stand here with my compass point, just stand at the center with my compass point, open to this point, and then draw an arc, okay? Now I'll stand at the same center, open to, open to radius 20, open to radius 20, and then draw another arc. Okay, right. Um, like I said, just be generous with it because you, it's difficult to see the points of tangencies at this point. It's difficult. So just draw your arcs or draw a full circle. Draw a full circle. Um, draw a full circle. Okay. All right, um, something interesting is happening here. Now, I have to find a radius that will be used to draw this arc. Okay, but I can see that this arc is touching um, externally the arc of radius 20 and then the arc of radius 35. Let me indicate the arc of, arc of radius 35. For the sake of clarity, R35. Okay, so it's touching, it's touching externally, it's touching outside. Okay, so I'm going to stand here at radius 20 to the given radius 20 here. All right, that makes 40. So I'm going to stand here with my compass point, open and draw an arc. Radius 40. Okay, now I'm going to stand at the center here because the circle touches this arc, touches this circle, radius 35. So I'm going to add the radius of the arc, which center point you don't know. Okay, I'm going to add a radius 20 to 35. So I'm going to stand here, open to 20 plus 35. Okay, let me just indicate. So it's easy to follow. This will be R20 plus 20. Okay. And then I'll stand here, draw another arc. Stand here, draw another arc. 
Okay. Now this new arc has a radius of R20 plus 35. Okay. So now I have, to, I have two arcs meeting. I'm going to stand at that point and draw an arc, the arc of radius 20. Draw my arc of radius 20. Okay. So it's going to go all the way and touch this one. Let me correct my arc a bit. We're going to go back to oh, in touch. Okay, so this is my arc of radius 20. Okay, so I've got that one. Remember, this arc is still will still be 10 away from here because it still joins here. This whole this whole curve is offset at 10 millimeters from this one. Okay, so I'm just going to stand at the same place, open to 10 millimeters, open to, sorry, open to um, radius 20 plus 10. Okay, and then touch here and go. And go that way something like that that's good all right it's it continues and touches but again we'll see that um okay so let's let's complete let's complete this side of the drawing Okay, in which case we are going to have in which case we are going to have we are going to try to construct arc arc of radius 150. Okay, you realize that that arc is touching this circle, circle of radius 35. That arc is touching it. How? It's touching it internally. Okay. And then it is going through a certain point here. All right. So arc, the arc is going through this point and then it's tangents to arc of radius, circle of radius 35. So we can make use of this point. When you make use of this point and this point to find the center of this arc. Okay. So let's go. So we are going to subtract radius 35 from radius 150. That gives us 115. Okay, so we we'll stand with our compass point here. Okay, open to a radius of 115, and then we'll draw an arc. All right. When we are done with that, we are going to open to this point. How far is this point from any other object we already have? This point is supposed to be 70 mm from uh, the point we already have. Okay, so I'm going to stand here, open to the, the radius of 150 because the, the arc is actually going through this point. So I'll open to the radius of 150, stand here, and then get my bisecting arc. So now I can stand here, open to a radius of 150 comfortably, and then draw my tangent to the circle going through this point. Okay. Um, from, from this to this, is um that is what we we have as our 
150. Okay. It's actually bad practice to draw it here. Then let me remove this. Um, so I'll remove it to give it. Let me illustrate this radius from the center of circle R35 to the first arc line, okay? That radius is R150 plus 35, okay? Then the second one is going to be from this arc to this point, okay, I'll not draw the whole line, okay. That one is R150, okay. All right, so now that I'm done with this arc, I'm drawing this arc, I have to draw this other side, okay. So in which case, I'll just stand here with my compass points open to a radius of 140. Remember the offsetting, the offset distance is 10. So we just open to 10 less the external one and then stand on this point, draw an arc. Okay. In general, so we'll let it touch this line and go and go. That's where okay, just let it go. All right, so what is left now is to draw our small arcs. There's a description given here two times r5. This means these two similar arcs have a radius of five. Okay, remember they are tangent, is tangent to the circle, and then this one is tangent externally to this circle and internally to this one. So what I will do is I'll um, radius 150, radius 150, because it's touching the arc of radius 150, minus five. That is going to give us 145. So I'll stand here, open to 145, stand at this point, stand at the center of this arc. Um, no, I'm not going to use 150, sorry. I'm going to use 140. So I'm going to use the radius of this arc, 140, minus the radius of this tiny arc, okay? That gives me 135. So I'll stand here, open to 135. So I'm going to stand here, okay? Center of this arc, I'm going to stand here, open to 135, and then Draw an arc, and then the, the tiny arc you are drawing here of radius five is apart from touching this arc, it is also touching this circle. Is that okay? But externally, so I'm going to add its radius, radius five, to the radius of this circle, thirty-five. That makes it forty. So I'll stand here now, the compass point, and strike an arc of radius forty. Okay. That gives us the first point where we can draw our tiny arc. So that's our tiny arc. Then let's go to the last one, last of the tiny arcs. Okay, with that same radius of 40, I'll stand here. Okay, the arc continues. Draw an arc. All right. Then what other arc is? The tiny arc touching. It is touching this arc of radius 30. Okay, from here to here is 20. To the next one is 30. So I'll stand here, open to 30 plus 5. And then draw another arc. Okay, so that gives us a center to draw our last. Okay, 
So all those blue lines were my construction lines. I'll take it as my construction lines. Let me just add the black one, which will be our outline. So in the end, we are going to have this. Let me increase the thickness. In the end, we are going to have this as our outline. Something like this. Okay, but you have to use your compass to do this. I have not to use instruments from the outset. Okay, that's my outline. Okay, then the other one starts from here. Okay, it goes all the way up. Okay, joins the tiny R, and then you have the neat curve, another neat small curve. Come down to your heart. Okay. He goes up, touches the circle. Come on. Left the inner circle. Right. So that's just a sketch. I hope this helps. See you.